Uh, the first time I came to the MBL was in the summer of 1993 uh, to one of the history seminars, at that time still the Dibner seminars in the history of biology at the MBL. And it was a rather interesting uh, and diverse uh, and loud uh, and rambunctious seminar on the topic of individuality. Um, it involved uh, the usual crowd of philosopher and philosophers and historians, but also quite a few biologists. At that time, I was just a biologist because I was in uh, the graduate program at Yale, and um, the person who actually encouraged me to come to the seminar was Leo Buss. Uh, at that time, Leo and I were still on speaking terms. Um, now, uh, Leo came only for a day uh, to basically uh, discuss his uh, book and the ideas behind his book. At least that's what I guess the organizer thought when they invited him. What he really was talking about uh, was his uh, then obsession uh, in applying the lambda calculus to basically explain the universe. Um, he did that in an uh, interesting uh, dual performance with Walter Fontana, uh, another old friend of mine from Vienna, uh, who in the meantime went through the Santa Fe Institute and is now a professor of systems biology at Harvard. Uh, other people that were at that seminar uh, were Sandy Mitchell, um, a young Sandy Mitchell, I might say, or younger Sandy Mitchell, um, as well as Rob Page, uh, who, uh, as Jane reminds everybody, attended the course as a student. Um, there was another biologist, I remember, uh, the then boyfriend of Sandy Mitchell, but I can't remember the name, uh, from Ohio State. Well, the fact that you can't remember names might have something to do with how, how that seminar actually uh, developed over the course of the week. Um, and, um, Tim Allen uh, from uh, Wisconsin uh, was also here uh, as an ecologist. So I recall some very loud and passionate discussions about Clements and succession, some discussions about uh, the evolution of individuality uh, after Leo was gone and everybody actually talked about his book. Uh, and, um, of course, individuality in the context of social insects, uh, with Rob and Sandy being there, uh, and a lot of philosophical discussions about how that uh, connects to issues of the unit of selection uh, and uh, other problems in the philosophy of biology. Uh, so, in many ways, it was a uh, classic course, and I think many people who have attended several of those courses uh, remember this uh, one quite fondly because it had uh, just the right mix of biologists, historians, and philosophers, um, and it was a topic uh, that instilled a lot of passion, so arguments uh, were continuing. I also remember that at that time the course was in August, so it was damn hot and humid. Um, and, uh, but that also meant that uh, the nights were uh, long and uh, warm and uh, several people didn't stay in Swope but stayed uh, in that, not Ebert, but the house behind Ebert, that wooden house. And uh, so the porch was then uh, a venue of evening uh, entertainment and drinking. And uh, that went on late into the night. So those are some of the memories of this course.